It's, uh, it's been an amazing run just to think of where I was at two years ago. Um, signing here as, as a guy that was going to start in Milwaukee and be a potential depth guy when guys got hurt and stuff. Um, and to see all the work that I put in and the support that I've had from just family and friends and um, the support I've had as an organization helped me get better as a player. Uh, it's been great. Um, more importantly, I think I've grown as a man and um, you know, I like you know, my mindset these days and my confidence levels and um, just the fun that I'm having. It's, uh, it's a great fit for me and I love it. But where would you say your career was two years ago before you signed with the Predators? <laughs> in the dumps? <laughs> um, to be honest, like I, I spent four years in the minors and then a bit of a fifth year. And um, after that fourth year, I, I, I honestly had said it to my wife numerous times, like if I do this for two more years, I think I'm just going to call it done. Um, people were, I mean, I had teams from Europe reaching out and seeing if I'd come over and I just, it, it almost felt like I was kind of done, you know, my, my chance to make my dream come true was over. Um, but I had so many people that were behind me, that had, had been behind me for so many years, um, kept pushing me through, kept saying, no, nope, you're, you're good, you're going to make it, you keep working, like I know the, the type of person you are. And without those people, I don't know if I'd be here today. Um, everyone who watches this, they know exactly who they are. Uh, I'm grateful for those people without them. I don't know where I'd be, um, but I, I just kept the faith. I kept working. Um, you know, I, th I think about all the kids that are going to be after me, that whether it's hockey or whatever it is in life that they want to do, and people are pushing them down and saying no. And um, I want it to be one that said, you know, even though that happened for a lot of years, you just keep pushing, keep believing, keep fighting, keep working every day, and, you know, one day it can happen. So um, I also thought about my future children. I, I couldn't look myself in the mirror if I told them I quit. Um, so that's something I'll tell my kids one day that I never quit. And, if they're going through something, it'll be a story I can tell them. Have you ever had a bigger three days in the last three? So I'm going to get this game and go on Saturday night, sign a big contract on <laughs> Um... I don't know. I mean, I guess I've had good three-day stretches in my life, but um, no, it's it was great um, being able to to go in the shootout and and to, to score on a Saturday night, a huge win for our team. That was that was awesome, um, and then be able to get the deal done, bef you know, before the deadline today was was exciting. Like I said, I don't want to have to spend another summer um, waiting and hoping and going back and forth, and I don't think they did either. So um, I'm extremely grateful that we got it done. We got it done like fairly quick too, uh, and we're just excited to be here for two more years. Is it as meaningful for you, do you think, if it doesn't happen this way? Like if all the what do you mean? If, if all the struggles didn't happen? And oh, over the last point, years? Yeah, yeah. Honestly, it, it makes this so much more rewarding. Um, you know, I, of course, like back then I would have loved to just make the league at 21 or whatever and been playing for so many years. But at the end of the day, when, when I think about what I can do after my career and the platform that I now have because of my struggles, it makes me relate to so many more people. And like I said, kids and, and kids that are in middle and high school. And um, it's just when you have a story like that, people listen. If I had a story like oh, I made the league at 20 years old and whatever, like a lot of people can't really relate to that because there's struggles involved and I, you wouldn't have had any struggles. So I'm grateful for the struggles. And like I said before, it's thrown me as a man. Like it's great that it's thrown me as a player, but at the end of the day, I'm not based on what I do on the ice. Like I know. Uh, people might say otherwise but for me I'm, I'm the type of person I am is more important the type of family man I am is more important and I feel like I've grown so much in, in that area just with all these battles and these struggles and um, it's really grown me stronger it's, it's helped me to, to look for the positive and things and have a different perspective and it's been awesome